Um, not really. Um, you know, I knew that I was probably one of the main leaders in the batting department. Um, so anyway, I had to lead from the front. I had to do my job to the best as I can. Um, it's just unfortunate that the, the other batsmen didn't quite always come to the party um, as much as they would like to have. Um, but you know, that's just cricket. We, it's not like we're not trying to do well sure the boys tried their hearts out every game but you know this cricket can't always go well for you um, but when it does it, it can go really well so you know some good players in the team they just can, they will step up at some stage in their careers. So just uh, in terms of the wicket uh, throughout this, the campaign has been a good batting wicket can you just speak to the Arsenal to be a little bit delicate? Uh, to be honest I'm not too sure I'm not the, I wasn't part of the brains of it um, <laughs> just, just rock up and play is kind of my job um, so I'm not too sure what you asked for. I'm, I'm sure they asked for a good wicket. Um, you know, being a final of a game anyway, we want to have a good cricket game for the crowd and for the TV and for all the fans. So I'm sure that was meant to happen. Can you just a few words on Ashwin Prince and your, your interaction with him and how he's been as a coach for you guys? Yeah, he's been, he's been great. I mean, he's, you know, I have, it's my first time ever with him. Um, you know, but we share ideas all the time. Um, you know, I'm still learning things about my bad thing. He's helped me in one or two things, so it's great to have him. Um, you know, sometimes when you when you go from different coaches and different environments, you do pick up one or two new things. So it's just great to to work with him. I mean, he's helped me. He's helped a couple of players uh, in the team. Also, he comes from a lot of experience. Um, he played a lot of cricket, so it's nice to have a guy like that around with a bunch of youngsters. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I, think, I think 112 in any, any wicket, in any format, so we're going to be short. Um, we would have liked, to be honest, I think we would have liked 160, but that didn't happen. Um, you know, they could, could, uh, got a good uh, band attack, so we knew we were, we were very short, we, but we tried. Um, the bowling department, we tried to put them under pressure, but you know, they, just, they just soaked it up and just um, took, it, took us down. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, obviously Quinny, the way he's played, obviously the guy wearing the white cap next to me, um, the MVP for the tournament, being a big player, not only for the Cape Town Blitz but for South Africa. So uh, in uh, in any game, you know, getting him uh, early um, it and he doesn't hurt you is is a big achievement. But I think you know the way that we've been playing, taking wickets up front, you know, um, with uh, with KG, uh, Biran and Doozy, um, the way they bowl in the power plays, especially. Was, uh, was, was really good throughout the whole tournament. And I think that's been a key to our success is taking wickets uh, up front. Is there extra special feeling being a Cape Town local coming down in New and lifting a trophy in a yellow jersey? Yeah, definitely. You know, I mean, uh, I think it's, it's even more special, obviously, being uh, in the inaugural tournament. Um, but I'd, like I said to the boys in, in the, in the, before the match started, I don't think there's many places in the world that you want to, uh, you would rather be. Um, playing a final, um, Cape Town obviously celebrating a night out. Um, so it's, it is an incredible place to play cricket. Um, it's a great place to win, and I've had some great memories here. And this is definitely going to go down as one of uh, one of my better, my best memories, um, you know, in my career, career so far. And, um, from a <coughs> overall tournament point of view, the way the way the jersey stars played in terms of that attacking brand of cricket, was that something that you drove home to the guys, especially particularly? Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, from the start, you know, um, as Jersey Stars, we always wanted to create that kind of environment where the guys, the guys can be themselves and they can actually express themselves. You know, and um, I'm just proud of the obviously the team. You know, how they've actually responded. You know, in terms of the brand of cricket, you know, we played over the last couple of weeks. You know, so no, it's been it's been great to watch. Um, Jane, um, you speak about the bowlers. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, obviously a guy like KG, 
I think uh, obviously one of the, the best bowlers in the world um, and he's got an exciting talent um, in his young career already. So having him in your ranks is going to help you a huge amount and you can just see the sort of pressure he puts on the opposition and I know that uh, to try and take him down at any stage is really, really difficult. Obviously the form that Riza was in where he started um, back to back hundreds is, is massive so it's, it's really good with, from that the guys when they came back they, they, they got into the team quickly and they added value and that's exactly what uh, we, we spoke about and that's exactly what um, the, the guys did. And also coach as well, um, Randy Cooper and I just want to ask you about him and what interests you the most about him for you to be able to perform the way he did when the coaches weren't there and so even when they came back for big, big, big performances. Yeah, Rix is a, is a really young, exciting guy, you know, he's got a good head on his shoulders, he's quite mature for his age, um, you know, he sort of knew, uh, I think we made it quite clear to him that when Chris Gale was around, it's going to be tough for him to get into the side. Um, but you know, at no stage did he moan or did he panic or anything like that. So, and when he got his opportunity, he, he really did well. You know, and there was a couple of games where he actually led from the front for, um, for us. You know, it's nice to see the way the way he plays. Um, he's quite uh, quite an aggressive, but also he's very mature in, in, in his approach. And I think he's got a, a bright future ahead, especially for um, Enoch uh, up in uh, up in Joburg, and you know, hopefully many um, a few more games. And you never know, maybe for the coaches as well. So, you know, there's an exciting time with cricket. There's been a lot of good youngsters that have stepped up in this competition, and I think it's only going to get better and better. So, it's really, really good to see. Um, Dan, you sending uh, my son's Alanga Christmas card, and um, go to would you say that that's the defining moment in your campaign? <laughs> well, I wouldn't really say it was you know, a defining moment. You know, I mean, we've we knew that a close game was around the corner. You know, and it was pretty special that it happened in the in the week that we're on the road, you know, as a team. And um, I mean, to just to see different individuals stepping up to the plate, you know, in different games, you know, is pretty special. You know, it goes a long way for the team. And uh, I mean, to do it away from home, you know, and knowing that obviously the next game is back at home, you know, it gave us a lot of confidence, you know, that we, with tight games like that, you know, we can actually get over the line. You just put this on the order from Gordo, the fact that um, he was meant to commentate before the, the, the fairy tale stories, he was meant to commentate when he comes in and he does that and takes it quickest. I mean, the deep yeah, I mean, absolutely. He's been, you know, he's been a great person. Also, in, in a, you know, not just you know, a good cricketer uh, that he's been. You know, he's shown it on the field, and I mean, how he's actually fitted in well into in the team environment. You know, it's been absolutely uh, brilliant. You know, so I mean, we we knew what kind of a person you know you come into the team that you know the what you actually offer to the team, and um, I mean to do it on such a big stage like this, you know, it's been you know it's been fantastic. You know, so um, yeah, I just. Basically, I know the team has embraced him well, and um, and yeah, I mean, I just want to wish him well going forward. Um, coach, um, how difficult was it to be someone like Dwayne Green and Dwayne Kishore in charge of such an international player and how did you take it? No, he took it well. You know, obviously, I mean, it's when it comes down to selection, you know, everyone wants to play, but uh, we've made it clear, like the captain has said from the start, that you know. <coughs> Obviously, at times we're going to look at con uh, conditions. We're going to look at uh, the opposition, and then obviously try and come up with the best strategy possible, you know, to, to try and penetrate the opposition. And I mean, the guys in general, the guys that have missed out, some did not even play. Some played one game, you know. Just in general, as a squad, you know, guys have been very supportive of the guys that have been missing out, and you know, and guys have taken it well, you know. And that's why probably that has helped, you know, to create such a good vibe in, uh, in the team. Chris Gale won't be there for the party celebration, so he was a big part of the, the team up to him. Uh, just what's the role that he played in the, in the game? Yeah, obviously, I mean, uh, we wish Chris well. Um, you know, he's, had, he's in a tough situation with obviously his mom passing away, um, but I thought he, the way he came into the side handled himself really, really well. I mean, he's played in many teams and many, and many competitions. It's just nice to sort of feed off his experience, um, sort of try and draw as much information as we can from him and how, how, to, how to get outside better, especially, you know, like coming into this competition, it's a, it's a quick um, quick turnaround from the, the last four-day game we had and now straight back, in, straight back into a, a tournament um, and just get the guys to gel together and really sort of bring them together. I think Chris has helped us with that. Um, we brought a lot of uh, energy and also I think maybe he deflected a lot, you know. Um, there was a lot of hype around him and it could just let the other guys sort of get on with their job and do their thing.
Coach, um, obviously, I know he didn't play, but since he played with Chile, um, how was he doing in the midst and, and all of that? And no, I, mean, I must say that you know he's been brilliant. His attitude in general, um, uh, and the guys have given a lot of support, obviously a lot of assistance, you know. And uh, I mean, we we had a chat to him right from the start, you know, that uh, obviously. You know, we're going to create the best possible environment, you know, for him to learn and obviously to grow. He might catch a game or two, but, you know, nothing is guaranteed. But, and he's, he's actually responded well. And, I mean, the guys love him, you know, and, uh, and, I'm, and, and I don't know for sure, you know, walks around with a smile. And, 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 and I'm sure he's going to, you know, take a lot of key learnings, you know, from, from this tournament.